Okay, first off, what you're going to need is a file, and this is an auger bit file. It has teeth on one edge and no teeth on the flat side on one end, and on the other end is just the opposite, where it has teeth on the flat side, you can see that there, and no teeth on the edge. This protects the bit when you're using it. You could also use a triangular file on a pinch if you didn't have an auger file. Alright, first things first, on the outside of these auger bits, never touch the outside edges with the file. You want to maintain the diameter of the bit and if you start filing on the outside it'll mess up your hole size. Um, what these little wings do here is score the hole when the bit goes around so that way it'll make a nice clean hole. So you file on the inside of those wings just like this. Real careful. And try to maintain the bevel that's already there. Some of them are kind of curved so you might make a sloping curved cut as you go with the file. Make sure you do both wings on the inside. If you get a burr on the outside, just take your back of a leather belt and you should be able to uh, strop it off of there. It uh, wouldn't be much of a burr anyhow. Uh, now for the main primary bevels on the bit, these are like little chisels that go around in a circle and hog out all the material. So really all you want to do is just sharpen these just like you would a chisel. You can get your block of wood there to hold the bit and just make some light passes across there. Get you a nice angle of the bit so it'll sit like that. You can see the angle here about like that. That'll get you your good angle so that way you can keep the file flat to your surface. It helps you reference it. And just try to maintain the bevel that's already there. It should work fine. Um, I wouldn't get real picky about the bevel's angles or anything. Okay, one little trick for that tip is to put some valve grinding paste in the hole there that you've kind of dr drilled already and then run that bit in and out, in and out to that screw tip. Just the screw tip and it'll sharpen and polish that screw tip and make it uh, pull the bit through better. Alright, this is a center bit and it's a similar situation where you do not want to touch the outside of it with a file. Again, that'll mess up the bit uh, and this over here is the chisel part that, um, that hogs that out, just like the auger bit. Um, so what you want to do is file the inside of this spur here and that's going to score your hole just like the wings on the auger bit. So you just file the inside there until you got a nice sharp point um, I don't think I'd worry too much about burrs again, but if you do, you can knock it off with a belt. Um, after you get this point nice and sharp, you're going to move to the main point of the bit. And it's, it may be three flat faces, like this one here, or two, but file all the faces, and they'll make a nice sharp point together. And then, get your block of wood again, angle your bit over just like you did the auger bit, and go right across that wing again, or that uh, cutter, just like you did the auger bit. The same thing. Um, and again, if you get a burr, you can knock it off with a belt. It shouldn't be a problem. Or maybe the file if it's bad. Okay, this is the expansive bit. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is take the wing or the cutter out. Most of them slide out. This one has a screw to hold it in place, but to keep it set, you just slide it right out of there. Um, this one also came with a larger wing. You can see right there. Uh, so you can cut a whole bunch of different size holes with this one. Um, now, the first thing you want to do with these is in the actual body of the bit, you're going to work it just like an auger bit. It's got that cutter there, just like the auger bit. Turn it at an angle there on the block of wood, and, and then use your file and just go right across there and uh, file that nice and sharp. You have to get a burr. You can knock it off with a bell or possibly the file if you're very, very careful. You don't want to back bevel it. Um, now on this cutter wing, it's got a curve to it. It makes it a little hard to sharpen from the top. So I figured I'd be just sharpen the bottom. Just like that on a stone. I usually use a water stone like this one just here. Uh, and then you can take and sharpen the inside edges of that spur just like you would on the auger bit. Again, stay away from the outside of that spur because that'll mess up the, the bit. But um, And just goes right back in there. And that's pretty much all there is to sharpening these things. Uh,